Ed from Pinball Mayhem here. I'm back to show you the assembled slot machine mechanism and point out a few things that I did. Um, as stated before, this was a get working, uh, not a complete tear down uh, oil and everything. Every part that, that you saw came off did go through an ultrasonic cleaner and did the grease and get all the old grease out. Uh, so the score reel assembly, uh, so this reel here is attached to this plate. Uh, here and so it's kind of a sandwich so the middle reel middle plate outside reel outside plate uh, So this whole assembly is kind of it's all calibrated. So these are attached together that I stayed together But I pulled it out uh, Made sure all these little um, the stops here all the parts moved I re uh, I put grease on all the high contact points made sure I put a good oil in there these are your payout slides and the tube. So somebody had oiled the crap out of this area. These have to run dry. They're brass on metal, they're not going to rust. Uh, at least the middle ones are. So uh, these are never ever oil. And so all that oil that had to come out of all those coins, I even ran all the coins through a cleaner, the ultrasonic cleaner at the end just to get that layer of oil off of them. Um, so yeah, these all came off the shaft. There was a missing cotter pin here. It doesn't have to be super tight, so I threw a new one on. It's not going to come off now. Uh, that's just enough to hold the uh, this shaft in place. Uh, the, and of course, anything that came off went through the cleaner just to make it good and clean. Back end uh, is, of course, reassembled. Um, these are the springs for those slides. I had to take them off and stretch them on. Here's a spring tool that I use. It's a, it's a copier tool. Uh, doesn't work for these heavy duty ones but for these small springs really nice just to clip them so this piece was the one that I thought maybe this plate was bent because this wasn't coming up over uh, after re-greasing everything I even got this is moving really good uh, after the re-greasing and everything it works great uh, or oiling um, these little parts here that's supposed to spin I got that spinning there's a little stop up here it's supposed to actually contact this. That was not spinning. It was completely seized. So it was wearing unevenly. Right now I got the, sh the brass shaft uh, spinning on the inner shaft. And the inner shaft also spins in there. So that's good. And that one came out with just a screw here once this plate was off. And these are the springs for uh, those uh, locks. I did put some grease, some uh, Teflon grease on these points. But most uh, here, most of the time... Uh, I read a good article that said, yeah, they used to grease the crap out of all these, but these are not in casino use now. And being a reproduction, it's never been in casino use. Uh, so, grease the high contact points, and I used uh, just a 3-in-1 oil on all the parts, uh, not WD-40. So, I, I even got some of these spots on the clock. They call this the clock, and this is the fan that turns to control... Uh, the stopping speed. So right now the um, it works real well. Now let's go over to the cabinet. The uh, handle return has a uh, spring on it and down here there's a cylinder that kind of keeps the handle return. That was really sticky so I got that freed up. Uh, didn't do too much oiling in here uh, so the bottom part of this was in pretty good shape. Up here is the uh, escalator, I believe they call it, and it's moving the coin across. So you put the coin in, and this little pin is what validates. And here's where that shaft that uh, should be here uh, has not been installed um, <clears throat> to help validate the coin. So with this one, uh, this actually worked pretty good. I, when I took this off, a screw fell into this little tray, and it being a screw right here, so it must have loosened up over time the screw here it must loosen up over time so I just wanted to I put that back on but I just took this off with these three screws and somebody had painted this one this one and then there's one here I actually would remove this one first then this one and then that one because otherwise it's hard to get together and when you put it together put these two in loosely you get that one over here and it goes back in so it's three screws this whole thing came off it made sure everything was tight on the other side clean the glass because whoever had this before was just spraying the whole damn thing with oil and um, so the uh, oil uh, got onto that glass and looked pretty pretty crappy this is easy to get to by pulling the mech out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the mech in and uh, show you how things cycle from this side then flip it around and show you the other side alright here you go the mech is in it's sitting 
sure it cycles and these guys here could go down just to lock it in so when the back door is on the mech doesn't come off so right now you can see no coin in there you can do coin we got the coin so I'm gonna first show you the escalator walking the coin over and Oh, I must have hit something. So let me do that again. Now I'm going to focus on the lower half of the mech. So you can kind of see, notice back here, you see this, this spinning. And uh, this is what's going to release these arms in their order. And these are your payout fingers. So they call a slot machine. Uh, this doesn't have slots, this has holes. So when this a finger goes through all three holes, that means I got three lined up. Let's see, I got uh, two and a golden nugget. Let's see what I got. Um, two oranges and a golden nugget. So that's a pretty good uh, payout. Um, so that's a example of a payout. Let me um, it's the back side. So I'm going to turn it around show you the front of this one there's my payout I'm actually gonna leave that here I'm gonna count this later just to make sure Put this off the side make sure that paid out that should have paid out 10 um, so that's one thing with the testing so I'm gonna put a fresh quarter in now notice that one's backwards or that's the tail quarter in and when I crank it over see there's my head No payout. So the only thing, uh, it's a little sticky that I don't know if the oil is going to work in or not. As you notice that there, that last reel doesn't just stops a little early. Ooh, got something. Two plums. That's uh, five payout. Nope, golden nugget needs to be last. So I'm going to work it a little bit, free up the uh, wheels so that they spin a little bit better, see if I can without completely disassembling it. That would be the next step if uh, if uh, it didn't uh, free up was would be to take that whole assembly apart and make sure I get everything lined up right. Because if those plates and the uh, the reels aren't lined up properly it's going to show not show the right thing and if you notice this is uh, the payouts always left to right so if you have one cherry you'll get paid out or two cherries you'll get five that's because that's the left plate so you can never actually be a right to left without being a digital machine so purely mechanical well thank you for watching I got just a few more things to do and uh, get this back to its owner